Hi there, it's Coach A. I'm here with another workout. This time it is the intermediate version of um, three cardios, three strengths, and three cores. So it's called cardio, strength, and core workout. So this is the intermediate version. What does that mean? It is going to be slightly harder than the beginner's version. Um, so 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Um, you want to get a set of weights and you want to have a mat, of course, and possibly some water, especially um, if you want to do this a couple of times, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start the timer and we'll go ahead and, get, and do this, all right? So, I'm gonna show you the exercise burpee, but no push-up, okay? So, you're gonna come down, you're gonna push your legs back to a plank, you're gonna jump them up, and then you're gonna stand, right? Jump it up, and then stand, excellent. Step, jump back to a plank, jump back up, lift your head, and stand. How many can you do? Excellent, nice and easy. Good form, okay? Perfect. Exhale, coming up. Inhale, this is easy. And then you exhale, and then you exhale here. So you're just making sure you breathe through the whole workout. Side to side skis, but this time we're gonna hop, right? We're gonna hop. Excellent. My heart rate is going up. Your turn. Reach those arms. This is intermediate. This is not beginners. Right? Just take your time. That's the beauty of timed workout. You don't necessarily have to go at somebody else's pace doing this exercise. Excellent. Keep going. Perfect. All right, three marches, diagonal, lunge. One, two, three, step back and lunge. One, two, three, excellent. Perfect, your turn. Step back, lunge. Now, if you don't know how to do this, you can always go to the beginners, right? Because I, you can use that as a warm up as a warm-up move into, you know, a warm-up move for this workout. For all of them, actually. Keep going. One, two, three. Diagonal lunge. Perfect. Now, we're gonna go ahead and grab our weights. Standing row, okay? So your arms are back and you're pushing up through your chest. Before we didn't use weights, okay? But this time, we're gonna use weights, right? Squeeze those arms out, your knees are soft. You're squeezing up over your chest. How many can you get out? Squeeze it, excellent. Inhale and exhale. Perfect. Keep going. Knees are soft, pressing up over your chest. Squeeze in that chest. All right, now bent over V's. Before we were like this, okay? But now we're gonna do a squat and a reach. So we're gonna stay in this position and we're just gonna lift because before we alternated. We did like this, right? This time we're just gonna reach our arms, okay? Reach, you're tucking your pelvic. We're not gonna squat and reach. We'll save that for advance, all right? So we're just gonna keep this movement. Tuck that pelvic, make that back flat. Pull your navel to your spine. You can always straddle your legs if this is too much, okay? Excellent. Now you're gonna take it down and you're gonna do a bridge, right? A table, excuse me. So you're just gonna lift up to a table and back down. So you can turn your hands to the side or you can turn your hands towards your glutes. Not away though, that's too much. Right, so hand position, you can turn it to the side 
and you're just lifting up to a table, looking towards your thigh as you lift up, okay? Make sure your arms are wide enough. So kind of at the edge of the mat. Excellent, keep going. Lift, lift, lift. Squeeze that glute, make that table. Open up that chest. Excellent, now let's go to abs. So your hands are here. You're bringing your legs to tabletop. Crunch and switch. Excellent, intermediate. Your legs are at tabletop. You're lifting the chest, getting the shoulders off the mat. And you're just pulling the knees in slightly and then releasing. Pulling the knees in slightly, releasing, pulling the knees in slightly, releasing, pulling the knees in slightly, releasing. Keep going. Your knees are over your hips or slightly past your hips. Excellent. So you're gonna turn to your side, okay? You're gonna lay down your arms under your shoulder, but this time you're gonna lift your feet and come up to your forearm, right? And you're just gonna look up like this. And you don't have to bring your feet too high, right? Your abs are in, you're on the side of your glutes, and you're just lifting up. Ooh, I'm getting warm. Ooh. Keep that leg lifted if you need, but you can always rest it down. Keep going, how many can you do? Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, it's like you're kind of sitting up on that forearm. Perfect, now let's switch to the other side, okay? Side of your glute, arm underneath your shoulders, arms across, lift your feet, rock to the side of your butt, not your hip, right? Side of your butt and lift. There you go. Ooh, I'm getting, I'm getting warm here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Taking home workout to another level. Come on, you can do this. By the time you come out, they're like, ooh, look at you. What you been doing? Man, I've been working out at home. <laughs> what you been doing? <laughs> Keep going. Exhale on the hard part. Inhale on the easy part. Perfect. Last. So make a fist if this hurts your wrist, right? So we're gonna go into pointing dogs again, but this time we're gonna use weight, right? Light weights though, okay? Not eight pounders, unless that's just how you lift your weights, okay? This is gonna be light weights, the kind of weights you would use to do your shoulders, not your larger muscles, okay? So right here, I'm using a three pound weight. So you could use some canned goods. You could use um, a water bottle, two water bottles, right? Activity completed. All right, that is it. We made it. Same thing. Seven, about seven minute workout, right? Got that sweat on. Here's the challenge. Can you do this workout two more times? <laughs> if you have any comments, suggestions, of course, leave them in the comment box. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, keep it tight.